So now we have the MACD on our chart again. And looking at this, I can say, great, I have a buy signal, but how well has this worked in the past? Because one of the things to realize when you're trading is that different stocks have different personalities. So if I were to be trading General Mills with the MACD, it may work extremely well, but it may have also performed terribly in the past. At the moment, I don't know that information. So what I can do is I can actually use our third power tool, and that's the system tester. So let's jump into the system tester here, and that's indicated by the dollar sign up here at the top. Now the system tester lets me take my strategy, test it against my stocks, and see how well it's performed in the past. If it's worked well in the past, odds are it's probably going to work well in the future. If it hasn't worked well in the past, I probably don't want to use that. What we're going to do now is we're going to take our MACD, as we've been doing all along here, and we're going to look at all the stocks that gave us a buy signal today, and we're going to see which of those stocks actually performs the best. I'm going to select the MACD expert system here and tell the system I want to run a new simulation. Okay, Right here it's just going to verify for me that I'm running a MACD and now I want to add the securities I want to test. I scanned the entire S&P 500. I don't want to test all those, I just want to test the ones that gave me a trigger today. So I'm going to go to favorites here go to results of the last exploration, double click on that, and these are all the stocks that met my criteria today. Okay, so let's go ahead and select all those stocks. I'll go ahead and hit open. Now I'm going to tell the system how far back I'd like to test. So essentially what I'm going to do is say over the last two years here, about 500 periods, I want to know how well the MACD is performed against this group of stocks. If I wanted to change that, I could just select dates here. I'll hit next. And this is where really where the system tester gets good. Now what we can do is we can actually tell the system tester, based off of our trading style, how much of our equity we want to put into a trade. Let's say you're not very risky. You want to put in approximately 20% of your money. Okay, we can tell it that. Let's say that you want to risk more of your money. So I want to risk 50% of my equity. So I can really tell the system tester how I'm trading at my risk level. Next I can come down and tell the system I only trade long, I only trade short, or I do both. So let's actually test where we would actually get in on a long trade. We'd go short when we get a sell signal. So we'll, we'll take that kind of stance on it. And now I can come down into the system tester and tell it even more information. When I'm getting in and out of a trade, I have a transaction cost. I can tell the system tester how much it costs me to get into a trade. Say it costs me $12 to get in, $12 to get out. That's an important part of the system testing process because it takes that money that it costs me to get in and out, out of the trade. Let's click OK there. Go ahead and hit Next and then I can name my simulation so I can look at it later if I want to. Let's call this our MACD test. I'll go ahead and hit start. Now it's going to test those 21 stocks, see how each of them performed historically to help give me a better indication of how well I might do in the future. Let's go ahead and hit view results. And now what you're seeing is a graphical representation of how well we did. Let's come down here and rank by net profit, so how much money we made. And I can see here that MGIC investment made me the most money over time. Next I can see Mylan was the second one. Now basically what you're seeing here is net profit ranked from highest to lowest, percent gain, the number of trades, trade profit and loss, so I can know how many winners I had and how many losers I had, and then how much average profit or loss I had per dollar put in. Okay, so Mylan actually had the highest profit per dollar. So let's actually take a look at that one. So I'm just going to double click on this, and this will actually give me even more information. 
It walks me through how much profit I made versus if I just bought and held this stock. And then it walks me through how many profitable trades I had, how many losing trades I had. Now this is important to look at because if I look at my average profit of $715 and my average loss of $316, my profits were a lot bigger than my losses. And that's one of the things that we want to look for. Okay. Another key feature in, in the system tester is an equity line. And this is an important thing to look at because this is what our money is doing over time. This equity line here is exactly what we want to see our money doing, growing. Okay? There are some little periods of drawdown, but we do want to see growth with our money. That's the point of trading, right? So that's the importance of looking at, at an equity line. So the system tester can really give us a lot more information to really digest the trade. So let's actually now go back and look at Mylan. Our symbol there is MYL. I'm going to come up here and open. Bring up MYL. And here's Mylan. Let's go ahead and click on our expert. Go back to the MACD and attach. And there's my buy signal for the day. And we can go back and we can actually just look at these buy and sell signals very quickly and see that it actually had worked very well in the past. But the system tester does it quickly and efficiently for me. You can really see how you can take the explorer, scan the market for opportunities, take the expert to see how those opportunities are working and how the trade actually steps through. And then we can take the system tester to make sure that it is a system that we want to test and use the personality of the stock to match with the personality of our strategy. And that's where the real power of the tools comes together. Thank you for taking the time to watch this demonstration of the power tools. And if you have more questions on the power tools, I'd like to invite you to watch our more in-depth analysis of Metastock and also the free training available on Metastock. Thank you for taking the time to view this presentation.